Hi there, I'm Sadie Nardini, founder of Core Strength Vinyasa Yoga. I don't know about you, but I don't always have an hour and a half to go to the yoga studio and even more just getting there and back, maybe two hours a day doing yoga. But I do have 25 minutes a day and I bet you do too. Now I want you to go to your full yoga practice and all of that goodness, but when you have limited time, I'm about to give you a yoga shred that is a sequence in 25 minutes that will keep your heart rate up. So you're doing cardio, muscle building, toning, sculpting, stretching, meditating, censuring, detoxifying, and looking and feeling your best all in just 25 minutes. So when you don't have enough time, this is the practice for you. Now, usually in yoga, we breathe through the nose, but this time, fully breathe through your mouth if you need to. So you're free to do that. You might want to breathe faster, but try to breathe as deeply as you can. Have a glass of water by you, rest if you need to at any time, and chip away at this practice until you can do it all. All right, get ready to rock it. Here we go. You will need a chair, something that you can sturdily step up on. I don't know about this, it's from Ikea, but it feels pretty good, so we're gonna use it. And a yoga mat. I don't have a lot of space here, which is perfect. You don't either, maybe, so here we go. Come to the front of your mat. Let's time this, about 25 minutes. All right, here at the front of your mat, bend your knees, reach your arms all the way up chair pose. Send your booty back so your knees don't slam forward. And then we're gonna just do a few of these. Put the hands down, take a deep breath in. On the exhale, I want you to lift your heels up and pull your fists into your body. Inhale, lean the hips back, sit down a little deeper. Exhale. Let's do a few of those. Inhale and exhale, warming up the low body, getting you some nice tone, junk in the trunk. Inhale and exhale. Maybe a little faster now. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Good, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep the heels lifted. Stretch your arms all the way up, up, up. Try to sit down a little bit lower. Even reach your arms forward. Lift the belly. Take a deep breath in here. On the exhale, keep folding forward. Put the heels down. Legs stay a little bit at first and fold. Good. Deep breath in. Lengthen the spine here. Nice and long. Exhale. Fold deeper. Excellent. Bend the knees. Slowly roll yourself back up to chair pose. I'm going to turn forward. So if I turn, you don't need to turn unless I tell you. It's just for a good visual for you. Reach your arms all the way up. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, we'll jump wide and take your hands to namaste as you squat down. All right. So we're going to kind of explosively lift up, squeeze the glutes, inhale, get ready like this, and back to chair. <laughs> All right, take a deep breath in, reach up, wide squat, come on down. Yeah, that's nice. Deep breath in, exhale, jump up, squeeze the booty, and exhale, chair. Inhale, jump it, exhale, squat, hands together. Keep those knees back, nice. Inhale, reach up, and chair. Now start breathing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Anytime you need to rest, you can take a nice forward fold or just do less. Good. Exhale. Last two, you can do this. And exhale one more. Good. I really lift it up. Oh, chair pose. Take a breath in. Stretch those arms up and on the exhale, fold yourself forward, forward bend, catch your breath, and wave from side to side. So we're getting our cardio on too, obviously. <laughs> Inhale, lift up, nice long spine, and exhale, fold. Beautiful. Plant your hands at the front of the mat, fingertips plant, then the palms, step back, downward facing dog. Take some deep breaths here. So you might need to breathe through the mouth. You can anytime you want in this practice. If your heart rate's up that high, you need to. Take a deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Again. Exhale through the mouth. Good. Now slowly bend your knees. Inhale here. Exhale. Pull your belly up and come forward to plank pose. Top of a push-up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, I want you to tap your knees down to the mat. 
Okay, tap your knees down. So watch that your belly does not sag down like this. Keep it really lifted. Okay, inhale down here. Exhale, lift the knees up, plank. Inhale, tap the knees down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap the knees down and lift. Just a few more times. So you really want to keep the belly lifted and the tailbone very long to send that tailbone down toward the floor. Inhale here, exhale. Now listen carefully. Inhale, turn your knees to the right. Exhale, straighten the legs. Inhale, tap the knees down. Turn to the left, straighten the legs. Great for obliques. We're toning the abs now as we work the whole inner and outer core. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Go a little bit faster if you can. Exhale. So the heels are going to turn. Also, feet stay separated. Exhale. Exhale. Two more. One more. That's it. Downward facing dog. Stretch it back. Awesome work. Deep breath in. Lift your right leg to the sky. Your right leg lifts all the way up. On your exhale, come forward and try to touch that knee to the upper right arm. High as you can. Round the back up. Inhale, stretch the leg back. Exhale, two. A little faster. Exhale, three. Good. And four. You can bend your elbows in between and really press. As you come forward, press the arms straight. That'll give you more power. And exhale. Put the foot down. Down dog. Lift the left leg up. Exhale. Squeeze and lift. Knee touches the upper left arm. Start moving and grooving. Exhale. And two, three. Good. Three, five, whatever it is. Doesn't really matter as long as you're moving. Exhale. Lift with the belly. Round up through the back. Very good. Two more. One more. Toning those arms and the abs. Now from here, plank pose or dog pose. Take a deep breath. Do this from dog if you are beginner. Do it from plank pose if you are intermediate to advanced in strength. So we'll take a deep inhale. Exhale through the mouth. You can breathe faster, but breathe as slow as you can. Okay? Now from here, we'll start to run a little bit. So we're going to um, run the dog. On the exhale, try to touch right knee to the upper right arm. And then on the exhale, jump to switch. Do it from dog or plank. Exhale, jump to switch. Jump to switch. Keep going. Maybe a little faster, like a breath of fire. Exhale, 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 exhale. Good, keep going. Exhale, 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 exhale. And jump to squat the front of your mat. Ooh, hands to namaste. That's it. Deep inhale. Exhale, prepare. Inhale, really jump to chair. Good, inhale. Jump to squat. This is going to firm the whole low body so well. Inhale, jump to chair. Keep going. And jump to squat like that. Jump to chair. Jump to squat. Yes, looking and feeling your best. Requires some effort, some discomfort, and some breathing. But then 25 minutes and you're done. Good. Exhale. And exhale. Now last time, jump to chair at the front of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, twist your left elbow to the right outer leg. Breathe with me. <laughs> you think this is hard? Try talking through the whole thing. It's all good though. Yeah, helps me know when to stop and pause you. Catch the breath. Inhale down to the belly. Expand the belly on the inhale. Exhale, squeeze and lift from the bathroom muscles, pelvic muscles upward, low belly firms, press the breath out. Inhale down, if you need to breathe faster through the mouth, of course you can. Inhale and exhale, very detoxifying move. Inhale, center, reach up, sit down lower, and exhale the other side, palms together, find the breath. Heart rate should be up, but not so high that you feel crazy. You should be able to sort of talk through this practice like I am. If it gets to be too much, you need to rest it out. You take a forward bend, walk up and down on your chair a little bit, fold in child's pose, do your thing, but really try to maintain a comfortable discomfort, if you know what I mean. 
All right, inhale down and exhale. Inhale, sit low, 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 low. Lift the heels all the way up. Lift the heels. Squeeze your knees together. Good. Keep the heels lifted. Plant your hands down on the floor. Open the knees and bend your elbows. I'll show you from the side. Open the knees and bend the elbows. Put those knees high up on the upper arms. Crow pulses. Inhale. Exhale. Press the hands down. Round up through the back. Good. Inhale. Come down. Maybe widen knees and elbows. Exhale. Curl up. Inhale down. Exhale. Curl up. Now as you curl up, maybe your feet can come off the ground. Inhale down. Exhale. Curl. Good. Inhale down. Last one. Exhale. Curl. Hold. Now squeeze your arms out against the knees and the knees in. Maybe cross the ankles if you like that. Or touch big toes. Round up. Press the ground. Press the ground. Good. Exhale. Come out to a wide squat. Turn your toes slightly open. Reach your arms forward. Take a deep breath in. Palms together. Sit down really low. Nice simple squat. Good. On your exhale, go a little lower. On your inhale, we're going to jump to chair pose. Good, you'll like this. Inhale, stretch your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Very nice. Lift the belly, nice long spine here. On the exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Should be getting nice and warm now. All right, take a deep breath in. Exhale, round yourself, forward plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, put the knees down, lift your belly. Take a breath. Exhale, lift the knees up. Inhale, tap the knees down and lift. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. This time, inhale, knees to the right, straighten the legs, heels to the left, twisting plank. Inhale, tap. Exhale, the other side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and hold. Now, feet are pointed over to the left. Knees are to the left. Lift your left arm up, side plank. Good. On the exhale, we're going to listen really carefully now. Put your hands down, tap your knees to center. On the exhale, turn the other way. Feet and knees to the right. Lift up your right arm, side plank. Okay? Inhale, tap everything down, center. Exhale, reach. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, reach. Inhale, tap. Exhale, reach. Inhale, keep going. Listen to the breath. Keep your fingertips really strong. If it's too much, you can keep the knees down and just lift the arm. So modify to meet your needs so you don't injure yourself. You want to get stronger, not tear yourself down. Play your edge. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Come back to center, downward facing dog. Lift the right leg to the sky. And on the exhale, round that knee in. Step your right foot to your right thumb. Ground the back heel down naturally. All right, I want you to walk towards the inside of your front foot. Turn your front toes in a little so you're going to protect the knee here. Stick your booty out, inner thighs way back. From the inner thighs back, bend the back knee too a little bit and begin to roll yourself up. Nice and healthy, warrior two. Once the pelvis is drawing in and up from both sides and the arms are reaching, turn the front toes forward again, knee forward and bend it. Back leg can straighten. Good. Take a deep breath in, stretch all the way up. Exhale, fists of fire in warrior two. Come all the way down. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Straightening the leg and bending it. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. And exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Now here, put your palms to your chest at Namaste. From your warrior two, which looks like this, I want you to turn your toes open and come into a really wide temple pose. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, palms together, snake yourself from side to side, belly dancer and temple. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. Exhale, start to move them down. Great for low body toning and core strength. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale up, 
and exhale. Inhale, reach yourself up. This time, turn it into your warrior two on the other side from up here. So the left leg is forward this time. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale. Fist of fire. Draw that belly in and up. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Do this with me. Inhale. Front knee should not come over the ankle like that. Okay, keep it back right over the ankle. Inhale up. Exhale. Good. Exhale. Take a breath. Temple pose. Turn the toes out. Palms together. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale. Ha! Fists of fire. Inhale. Ha! 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 So really let it out. Keep those inner thighs moving back. Keep the belly lifting. Keep expressing yourself here. Very good. Good for the arms too. Exhale, exhale, and exhale. All right. You might be hating these, but they're so good for your low body. We only need to do one more round of them. Take a deep breath in, reach out and up. Exhale, palms together. Get ready, and on the exhale, jump to chair. Keep the butt back though, keep the belly lifting. So we're not pushing the knees forward and just totally pressurizing the knees. You wanna keep them back, lift the pelvis, take a breath. Exhale, sit down, get ready. Inhale up, squat it down. There you go. Inhale, squeeze the booty together and squat it down. Inhale, wide squat. Inhale, chair. Inhale, wide squat. Good, inhale, chair. So you wanna feel like that. Wide squat and chair, baby. Gotta take a look at that. That's where it comes from. Oh, right there. Good, one more. And there we go. You'll get that in yoga a lot. <laughs> chair pose, reach up. Oh, mama, exhale and fold. So we'll begin now to take a little mini rest as you catch the breath. Wave from side to side. Bend one knee and you can stretch and open your arm to the straight leg side. Goodness. Slowly to center and then the other side. Good for stretching out all the muscles we just worked. Very important for building strength amping up your metabolism too. When you stretch the fascia surrounding your muscles, the covering of your muscles, you can actually build more dense, smooth, long lean muscle mass. And therefore, you burn more calories all day and all night. Super cool. Good, just from stretching. Inhale. And working your asana off in a practice like this. Exhale. Good. Keep going, take a deep breath in, checking your time. Exhale, oh my God, you're so almost done. You're so almost done. Keep breathing. You have about five more minutes left. No big deal, NBD, LBD, little black dress or little black uh, suit, guys. <laughs> Think about it, keep it in mind. All right, here we go. Get ready. On the exhale, I want you to bend your knees, plant your hands on the floor and come to hands and knees. So we are going to end with a booty-licious, not kicking my table, <laughs> um, fast twitch muscle action toner. So what you wanna do here, take a deep breath in, arch through the spine, on your exhale, curl. Good, inhale, exhale. Inhale, if you wanna pad under your knees, you put a blanket under there, not a pillow that's too high, just a blanket or a towel, exhale. All right, now slowly lift your right leg to the sky, keep it bent. So we're gonna really get into the hips, facing down towards the floor, the belly in a little bit, and we're gonna start to kick, okay? It's pretty simple, you're gonna kick and kick, just like that, a few times. If you wanna bend your arms slightly, you can do that. Breathing smoothly and deeply. What you wanna feel is the gluteal area, so the butt area, really firming to lift that leg. So it's not just about the hamstrings. You're trying to lift to your full capacity every little pulse. It will start to burn if it's not already, and that's good. So we want the burn. Welcome the burn. If it gets too much or your leg won't do this anymore, then you rest back in child's pose and come back up when you can. All right, just gonna do a couple more variations here. Take a deep breath in, kick, exhale, curl the knee in. So we stretch 
that tissue, make more room for a toned sculpted muscle there. Inhale, kick, kick, kick. So just one more round here. You might feel it burn more after you stretch, I do, and that's okay. So find the breath, find your dedication to the new transformed you, especially now, after it was so challenging. You gotta really get the spirit involved. Kick, kick, now I want you to kick 10 times harder. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, yeah baby. Take it back to child's pose, wave from side to side. Deep breath in, exhale through the tongue, stick it out. That's a challenge. Come back all the way up, take a deep breath in, arch the back, exhale, curl. So we're getting that nice belly massage and stimulation, inhale up, exhale down. Keep the belly in and stretch the left leg high, here we go. Kicking little pulses. You want it to come from the glutes, not from the hamstrings as much. Okay, so get that booty involved, baby. Find the breath and deal with the sensation of you firming and toning, detoxifying, and feeling more empowered and confident. Just 25 minutes is all it takes. It's strong, man, I know. It's a challenge, but think about how you're gonna look and feel inside and out after just 25 minutes of your day spent on you. You deserve that. It's not uncomfortable, it's powerful. Get used to the feeling of power. Kick, good. Keep going, almost ready for a little baby rest. Uh, and then take the knee into your chest, curl it in, stretch it out. Really round through the back, knee in a little bit more. And then we take the last round. We're so close to being done. But be here now, rededicate to your moment. Press those fingertips down, pulse right up to the derriere. Oh, may we, that beautiful booty, that yoga booty. <laughs> Ready, 10, nine, eight, kick it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, that's it. Child's pose. Wave your hips from side to side. I want you to rest your head on the floor and take your hands behind you for another couple of breaths here. Really breathe as much as you need to through the nose or mouth to super catch your breath. Excellent. Slowly roll yourself up to sit. Hands come behind you, press the palms down. So I want the palms down with fingertips facing forward, open up through the chest. If you need to turn your hands out a little bit, that's great. So I want you to breathe in here, stretching out the chest, stretching out the biceps, shoulders. Inhale, lift a little higher. On your exhale, clasp your hands behind your back. Interlace those fingers and squeeze the elbows in as much as you can. So from here, you can keep your hands on the low back and just round forward a little bit, or take the hands away from the back and round all the way down like you're gonna do child's pose again. Okay, lightly you can come to the crown of your head, don't pressurize it. Let those arms stretch a little more for your body, whatever it is. Good, deep breath in, and exhale it out. Roll your head and neck from side to side. Of course, we have one more little round here. This is the bonus round. If you can do it, do do it, okay? So this is going to give you that little extra oomph to take you through your day. Plant the feet, the feet down and begin to slowly roll up, really slow. Good if you kind of hug the belly in and keep it squeezed like a girdle, so your blood pressure is gonna stay nice and stable. If you get dizzy at all, take another little forward bend and then roll yourself back up. Find your chair here. This is something you can always do if the moves get too challenging for you or during your yoga practice at home, you want to just really tone the low body. So we'll inhale, left foot on the chair, reach the arms up. 
On the exhale, step onto the chair, bring your fists of fire to your hips. Okay? Inhale, step the right foot down, left foot down. Inhale, right foot up, exhale, left foot up. Inhale, arms up, exhale, step down. Left foot up, exhale, a little faster. It doesn't really matter which leg you step down with, but step up with the opposite one. So really get into the glutes and the heels. As you step up, heels and balls of the feet stay even. You don't want to just be on the ball of your foot. It's hard to talk and do this at the same time. Just for coordination. It's like rubbing your head and your belly. All right, exhale. Okay, like that. Doesn't matter as long as you keep going. Just another few. Use your heels so you really get underneath the hamstrings and the seat. Toning, firming, and lifting it off. One more on each side. Okay, you can do it. And exhale down. Very good. Slowly come on down to sit. Last little ab blaster here before you rest and go. Plant your hands back behind you. Lift the legs, Navasana. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, squeeze and hug it in. Keep your spine really long. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. It's almost like the plank pulses that we do. Knees to the right, heart to the left. Okay? Knees to the left, heart to the right. We're twisting it. Inhale, exhale. Glorious. Just a few more. You've done so well today. You are so done in mere moments. 25 minutes, no big deal. I'm telling you, I said it before and I'll say it again. You get through it the best you can. And in time you can do even more of these moves and it's easier. Okay, exhale, exhale, exhale. Last thing, last thing before we stretch. Palms can come to the heart. You can hang onto your knees and do less, or the floor and do less, but try to do this with me, okay? We'll inhale, stretch the legs out, stretch the arms out, low down. Exhale, down and dirty, low down, boat pose. Inhale, exhale. Try to sit straight. If you cannot sit straight up and you're rounding in that low back too much, you need to be humble and hang on so you don't hurt your sacrum or your lumbar. Okay, inhale, exhale, press the pelvis down every time you lift up, inhale, exhale, three more, two more, last one, last freaking one, exhale, wow, oh my gosh, you did it, that's so amazing, I'm amazed at myself and I'm amazed at you. So now you can take any final stretches you want, seated forward bend, a nice goddess pose here on your back bridge wheel to stretch out anything that feels good to you and then take a moment to lie down on your back in shavasana and let your body cool down into a new mold that's going to help your metabolism optimize your muscles to tone the best and you to walk out of here with long open muscles joints and limbs instead of strange email asana ones because you jumped up have to check your Gmail. It'll be there when you get done. Take the last few beautiful, restorative, precious moments for yourself, and then get out there and enjoy your day, or here in Brooklyn the night, looking and feeling your absolute fabulous best. Namaste, congratulations. Rocked it.